Do you have any idea who your mystery guest is today? Uh, I might have a shocking idea who it is, <laughs> but I'm not really sure. Jeremy Shockey! How are you? I'm talking guys, about. I appreciate you guys having me on today. It's a pleasure. How are you guys doing? We're great. You two chop it up. Awesome. Yes, we're Rob, what's going on, man? Yeah. Listen, you doing all right? Yeah, I'm doing good, man. I'm up in Massachusetts right now. I bet you're down in Florida. It's about 28 degrees outside. It's a little chilly. It can snow right now if it started, you know, started coming down. If some rain started coming down, it would definitely yeah. be snow. But uh, I know you're down in Florida. It's probably 75 yeah. degrees. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Uh, you know, we have we have a bunch of mutual friends in common and hung out a couple of times. Uh, I want to get this letter that I never got uh, hashed out here. You know, let's brass tax it and let the whole public know what happened here, please. All right. Because let's do that. I've been writing you letters. I've been writing you letters every year for the last eight years to go to football <laughs> with you, and I haven't got one reply back. Yes. So yes. Let me know. All right, okay. So when I was in ninth grade, yeah. it was write a letter to your your hero or or whoever you looked up to or whoever it was. So it's in English class, which isn't really my strong suit. I mean, I'm math with my strong suit, yeah. but uh, English. So we wrote a letter, and mine was obviously to my hero, Jeremy Shockey. I was in ninth grade, so I was about what 14 years old, and I think you were a rookie or second year on the Giants. Correct. Yep. But I was also a big fan of you already. I already knew all about you from being at the University of Miami, just watching your college career as well. Right. So I wrote him a letter, um, you know, fan fan mail, I would say, sent it. No clue who I even sent it to. I'm not even sure if it was to the giant <laughs> organization or not. I don't even know the address I got. I have absolutely no clue. And then I remember to this day, that's the only fan mail I have ever wrote to anyone. So then I saw Jeremy a couple years ago and I was like, bro, what's up, man? You know, we hit it off, you know, finally got to meet you, Shockey. And then uh, I told you, hey, by the way, I sent you some fan mail when I was in ninth grade and you never replied, buddy. <laughs> Listen, right now in reverse role, I'm proud of you. I hope you get my fan mail every day. You are a role model to everyone out there, man. Everyone's proud of of the things you've done off the field, on the field, you 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 carried yourself like like you were raised, and everyone uh, it doesn't go unnoticed, man. That's awesome. Thank Jeremy, you, my man. I appreciate it. Jeremy, what did you like? I mean, obviously, and there was you know we were doing all our research for this. There was an article in 2010 where Gronk was asked who his favorite players were, and he said, I think Tequila Spikes, and then he said you. I, you know, talk about Gronk as a player, like obviously a little bit younger. I heard you guys have partied together a little bit. We can get into that, but <laughs> just as far as how Gronk played the game, what were your thoughts? Well, uh, you know, he's, he's, he's a Northeastern guy, and he chooses to go to the University of Arizona, so that already shows <laughs> you what kind go. of person he is. There we go. So I'm not gonna bring any of that up. Um, <laughs> how much time do we have? <laughs> I mean, he's from from A all the way every all the way down. He is uh, check check check. Um, what separated Gronk from everyone else is he refused to lose, and um, mm. he's missed a couple games in his career that that his team won the Super Bowl, and and I know it affected him a lot different than it affected me, and um, that just shows you how he handled himself and uh, to come back like he did and a competitor. I mean, he it doesn't get better. If God wanted to make a tight end, it would be. Mold it, it would be Gronkowski right here. Um, how he blocked, he worked. He worked on his blocking. Continue every year. I saw him continually get better and get his grades get better at, P, at point of attack POW. So nowadays the tight ends don't do that, as Rob would tell you. They don't get graded as that. So Rob got continuously better, which was a huge influence of just me watching you, man. Really proud. I appreciate it, my man, and uh, you were a great tight end as well. And uh, what I love about you, man, is just uh, the character that you brought to the game, my man. I still remember to this day your helmet coming off. You were just relentless, and you just kept going. You wanted to run over more people even with your helmet off, man. That's why I appreciated you. You were a guy that led by example out on that field. You you were the guy that showed toughness and determination 24-7. That's what I loved about you, and that's why you were my hero. You didn't care wow. what the situation was. You I didn't care who that. was coming after you. You were, gonna, you were going to lay the smack down, and you were ready for any challenge, too, my man. That and then, a lot, man. And that's, listen, that's how, God, that's how God made me. My mother raised me, and I didn't run out of bounds. Maybe if I'd have ran out of bounds, I could have played an extra three, four, five mm -hmm. years, but... It's how God made me, man, and that's just how we are, you know. And uh, again, like I said, 
you, you're you're more of an idol, I'm sure, than, you, than I am as you. I look up to you off the field and the things that you do in the community and everything, and it really means a lot, and it's awesome, man. It's uh, it's great to, to, um, to see that. Gronk, and, and Jeremy, you have two Super Bowl championships. You were like an, an, an epic player. What would ninth grade Gronk think about this moment, Rob? I would be in heaven. I would be running around the hallways right now, <laughs> bragging to all my friends. Uh, currently, I'd be. We wouldn't be able to have a conversation because you know, when when class gets let out, everyone's just in the hallway. Yeah. I'd be showing you, Jeremy, to everyone in the class right now, to all my friends. Hey, what do you guys want to say to Shocky? And then I, we wouldn't even be able to have a conversation. <laughs> I'd just be showing off that we'd be here, you know, in this interview. So it would be unbelievable, man. It, it was. It would have been a dream come true if this happened in ninth grade. That's for sure. He would have been roughhousing with his brothers, and like I would have been, you know, looking up to him in ninth grade for sure. <laughs> Jeremy, <laughs> right. Jeremy. Him, oh, go yeah, ahead. Please. I would, would ask Shaki. I said, "What crazy things should I do right now? If I was, if I was in ninth grade, I would ask you." Because you were doing crazy things on the field, off the field. And I always loved that. I go, that's who I love. That's the guy I want to be like. And I would have been like, yo, tell me what to do right now. Should I run over my friend in the hallway? You would have been like, yeah, I would have ran over my friend in the hallway no, right no, on the screen. No, for no, sure. No, no. I would have no, no. <laughs> told you to keep, you know, work behind the scenes. You know, everyone yeah. does what the coaches tell them. Do what they don't see. Do behind the scenes to get better. There's not a simple solution or there's not a – a secret recipe to make you better yeah. at that occupation. It's it's doing things that people don't see, and that's doing the right things off the field, outworking them. A lot of things in life, God, a lot of things mm. have to be involved to be right. So it's a lot of shit, you know, you know that. Yeah. Jeremy, I have a couple yeah. questions for you, if you'll let sure. me. Sure. Uh, you know, two-time Super Bowl champ, obviously you got one with the G-Men and, you know, sorry, Patriots. And then uh, you got one with... Um, yeah, yeah, sorry. I, the Saints. Well, and so I wanted to ask you about Sean Payton. I don't know how much you're watching the NFL right now, but obviously he goes from the Saints to the Broncos. He's turning it around. They've got a little five-game cute, sexy win streak going. What can you tell me about Sean Payton and how you feel about him on this run that this Bronco squad's on? I look at Sean Payton like a father figure. Mm. I was raised by a single mother. He's affected my life more than he ever knows. Um, he left me a voice note not long ago. Um, I had not been watching the NFL very much. Uh, see them winning a couple games, but he is, uh, he's a great man. He drafted me in New York, um, first round 14 overall traded up with me. Uh, just a good person. I think they did a great hire. Um, he is a, uh, he's a winner. So, um, just, yeah. I, I, haven't, I haven't been watching much football. I just, I just know Sean Payton as a person is, uh, is a winner. Wait, I Sean Payton drafted you to the Giants? He was, on yeah, the he, was job. he was my offensive coordinator my rookie year. He went Jim Fossil was the head coach. Ernie and Corsi drafted me, which Ernie and Corsi, all these guys, the Mares, I miss all the Giants. That was the, the best experience is what Rob's doing right now is being a good influence to help others. Rob wrote me a letter I never got. And that's the best thing about playing football is to inspire other people and kids, obviously, in a great way. And and it's just uh, that's the best thing about football. It's not the money. It's not the rings. It's 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 who you inspire. Mm. Well said, man. Well said. I Rob, got Rob would agree with that. Come yeah. on, Rob's got more rings than. I mean, come on, he's got them on his toes. He's got so many. I'm looking. I at agree. I actually just went to the Boston Children's Hospital with my girlfriend last week, and we just inspired the kids, and they inspired myself as well. So that was well said, man. Inspiring people is one of the greatest feelings that you could possibly give, man. I that's love this sure. show. I love Absolutely. this show. This is amazing. Shocky, I got one more question for you. We've got like a minute left, so make it quick. We can't yeah. we can't not have an interview with the great Jeremy Shockey if we didn't ask about the Dawkins catch. Okay, fourth quarter, let's go. Down by a score. You guys need the win to get into the playoffs. Walk me through the moment. Okay, so uh, uh, the first game we played uh, in the season, Brian Dawkins hit. I kill your broke his shoulder. He was out all year. This catch is just a normal catch. Uh, Rob does this all the time. This is nothing. But what meant a lot is if we didn't, you know, win this game, we would go home, pack our bags. So this actually put us in the playoffs. So therefore, my teammates were eating ham sandwiches on the plane and we're what having fun. What are you saying to him? We, what are you, you know, saying uh, to him well, in that moment? You know, he, hurt, he hurt Ike Killiard. You know, Brian Dawkins is a man of God. He is the best guy ever. And, I, you know, he is the man. So I, was, I would probably say I'm a big fan of you, Brian, because you are the man. <laughs> I don't know what that's I'm, what I'm like saying. <laughs> I don't think that's what you were saying. He's the man. He, Brian Dawkins Perfect. is awesome.
<laughs> you got right in his face. I just think it's like one of my favorite things. It's like I, absolutely iconic. I think um, I was yelling, really... that's for Ike. That's for Ike, because he heard Ike kill you. So Ike is my guy. And Got it. But uh, Brian Dawkins is a, another guy that leads by example and by Christ and everything. He's a good guy. Okay, we have to say bye. Jeremy, Can't this was an absolute I'm... pleasure. Thank you so much. I hate goodbyes and hellos, so, but... Rob, I, I'm going to write you every day. I'm going to write you. I'm going to see you at the Super Bowl, right? Yes, and I'm going to respond to you. I'm Brad Keller is our guy, so come on, let's go. Yes, let's go, baby. Let's do awesome. it. Yeah. All right, man. Come on, Jeremy. Yes. You're the man. Bye, Thank guys. you, guys.